Weather Authority local weather forecast. Welcome back. Well, let's go ahead and take a peek at our satellite and radar. We're staying pretty clear here in the desert southwest, but seeing some activity in northern California. So we do have this lower pressure system, so it's definitely bringing some changes across the region. And even for us here, not looking out for any rain, but I am looking out for some winds and cooler temperatures. So let's go ahead and take a look at our winds. So we're going to see those winds rejoin us come tomorrow afternoon and through the evening. So we will have those winds really pick up for our Wednesday, so I'm looking out for that. We're blowing dust will also be a factor for Imperial County come tomorrow, so just be aware of those breezy to windy conditions for Wednesday, especially come later in the nighttime hours is when those winds will really strengthen. So I'm looking at gust about 25 or even 40 miles per hour within that range across our area. So we will be on the lighter side in Yuma County areas, and those winds are going to stay on stronger in Imperial County. So just be aware of that if you're going to be traveling to the west. That's where that blowing dust and sand will be, and that's also where those stronger winds will be. And then as we head into our Thursday, we'll still be pretty breezy across the area. So we are going to see these winds pretty much be in the forecast for the next several days to breezy to windy at times. So definitely be prepared and ready for that. So not going to be all that great with those winds sticking with us for the next few days. And with that, we do have a wind advisory that will go in effect 5 p.m. tomorrow to 5 a.m. on Thursday. And that's just for portions of Imperial County, so that's where those stronger winds will be. So again, just a heads up with that. And now in our air quality index, um, sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, looking pretty good as of right now. But once those winds strengthen, we might see a little difference in our air quality. So definitely keep that in mind for now. Now looking at our temperatures, we actually been cooler for this time of year across our area. So it's been a pretty cool week and we're going to continue to have these cooler temperatures. So today our high was 83 degrees and El Centro hit a high at 81. So below normal temperatures and I'm even tracking even cooler days, especially as we head into our Thursday. So look at our temperatures. 79 degrees is what I'm looking at for Thursday and then we'll quickly warm right back up into the 90s and more seasonable temperatures. So enjoy this cool down while we can. And also we still have our weather contest going. So guess when Yuma or El Central will hit our first 111th day. So head over to our website at kymade.com to get more details, submit your guests. So you want to do the day and time when you think we will hit 111 degrees. So really fun contest going on. So make sure you submit your guesses. But we're staying nice and dry here and it's keeping our temperatures cooler. So not tracking any 111 temperatures just yet. We do have this strong lower pressure system along the coast, which could bring some light showers, but not for us here in the desert. We'll stay nice and dry for the next several days. It's mainly going to be wind and temperatures that will be the focus. So on our eight day forecast, we'll be breezy here in Yuma. Temperatures will be on the cooler side. And as we look at Imperial Valleys, where those stronger winds will be along with cool temperatures so upper 70s for Thursday so not looking bad temperature wise but that wind it's gonna make it a little hard to enjoy it well Cole what do you have coming up in sports we got a lot Melissa